Hi there, I'm Alex from Labgrufen and I would like to show you a few troubleshooting steps that you can take to make sure that your IPD will connect successfully with IntelliDrive on PC. Okay, so first thing we need to do is check that we are running the latest version of IntelliDrive. So let's go to the help menu, then about, and we can see that it's version 1.2.8. Let's cross check this with the version that's available for download on our product pages. So for IPD 2400, we can scroll down and see, aha, yeah, IntelliDrive controller software 1.2.8. So we're running the latest version, brilliant. Okay, so to test connection, we can make sure that the computer's static uh, IPv4 address is set to one that falls within the same range as the IP address that is shown on your IPD. You'll also need to ensure that the subnet mask is the same. So how do we do this? Well, for example, in Windows 7, we can go Start and Control Panel, Access Network and Sharing Center, and then we can go Local Area Connection, and then Properties. Last thing, IP4 Properties again. The IP address on my particular IPD is 169.254.12. 124. So let's change this to 169, 254, 12, and 125. Subnet mask should be 255, 255, 255, Why do we do this? Well, notice that the two final digits in the IP addresses are different, and this will make sure that both devices remain within range, but they are seen as separate nodes within the network. So two devices can't share the same IP address because these are unique identifiers. So we click OK and then close. And there we go, the amplifier is online. Now, if you are still struggling to establish a connection, we can try some other things. It might be when you launch IntelliDrive that you don't see an amplifier connected whatsoever. Um, so. We can look at Windows Firewall settings. So how do we do this? Again, Windows 7, uh, we go Start and Control Panel. And then we look for Windows Firewall. And then we click Allow a Program or Feature through Windows Firewall. And when we scroll down this list, uh, we'll come across IntelliDrive Controller. So we can allow it and click OK. Now, there we have it. The IPD is recognized. You might also be using third-party firewall solutions or antivirus packages that incorporate similar firewall security features. Please make sure that you've configured these packages to allow IntelliDrive connection. Disabling these packages will offer a fast troubleshoot, but this must be done at your own discretion. If you're still experiencing difficulty connecting your amplifier, then please try using a different and shorter standard Cat5 cable. Make sure that you're not using a crossed type cable and also bypass any hubs or switches to ensure that you're making a direct connection with your PC. Disconnect all non-essential devices and peripherals and access the Windows operating system command prompt. So we'll go start CMD and that'll take us to command prompt and we'll need to get you to type the following. So, ping, followed by the IP address of the amplifier, 254 and 12, 124. Okay, you'll need to hit return on your keyboard. After hitting your return key, do you receive a pong response like this, or does your ping fail to connect with the amplifier? As we can see, in this instance, you don't get a pong response and it fails to connect. If you still can't connect, then at this stage, and after trying all of these things on a different Windows computer, then we'd like to hear from you. Our contact information is provided in the description below.